What's going on, Buff Nation? It's your boy Julian Campos, and I'll be presenting today's announcement. So, let's get started. For those of you who are a junior or a qualified senior who signed up for the SAT, but you guys couldn't take it yesterday because the thing got canceled, well, have no fear because uh, after spring break, Wednesday, March 24th, is the new date to take the SAT. That's enough time for you guys to study and get that sweet, sweet 1400. Make sure you and, uh, you and that SAT test prep book, you know, go on that nice little study date. You know, to get some, get some nice, nice learning, learning done. So earlier this week, I talked about how it's Women History Month. Very uh, significant to our society. Women are, are, are beautiful. You know, all of them are beautiful in their own unique ways. I feel it is best for, I'll just basically I'll take this month, the rest of the month, and basically have this little segment, talk about some great, amazing women in our society and in our history that have changed things for the better. Uh, so yeah, this is the first day. Cue the intro. The first woman we're going to be talking about today is Chen Xing Wu, who disproved a 30 year old law of nature. Chen Xing Wu, uh, who was born in Li Hao, China in 1912, uh, she actually was recruited by Columbia University to help on the Manhattan Project. Manhattan Project, uh, let's just say, uh, you know, you know, America was uh, getting a little frisky with making uh, weapons of mass destruction and with radiation and, and you know, nukes. We may have used it. To, uh, Anyway, uh, she was working as a senior scientist on the atomic bomb in 1943. Uh, she conducted research on radiation detection and uh, uranium enrichment. In the mid-1950s, uh, Wu was of course approached by uh, Song Dao Li and Chen Yang. Uh, they wanted to help disprove the law of cons conservation of parity. Um, so, uh, if you're not a science geek, uh, let me just uh, put it. Let me just put it into relative terms for you guys to understand. Uh, so basically, it's just saying that you know, two physical systems, you know, let's just say atoms, uh, behave in identical ways, and they do not differentiate from each other. So they're always going to be the same, you know. And this law, per se, was believed to be true for a good amount of time. However, uh, Chen Cheng Wu and her group of people, uh, they used the chemical isotope of cobalt, figured out that uh, the laws of nature were not always symmetrical and uh, that they actually disproved the law that had been accepted for more than 30 years. Uh, despite Wu's key con contribution to the finding, only Yang and Li received the Nobel Prize for the uh, discovery in 1957, which, you know, dude, seriously, that's still screwed up. That right there was your Women's History Month fact for the day. Anyways, that's about it for today, folks. Thank you and have a great day, and go Buffs. Play stand for the pledges and moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Hey, you guys like Among Us? You guys like Among Us? I'm trying to be, you know, trying to relate to my young group, uh, my uh, young audience group. So, do you guys like uh, Among Us? Uh, yeah, I like Among Us when the imposter is sus. That's so funny. That's so funny. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I'm going to do some, I'm just going to crazy. I'm going to do something crazy. Whoa, whoa. Yo, am I Among Us? Dude, look at me, bro. I'm, I'm yellow. Dude, I'm yellow. Dude, I'm telling you, bro. I'm not sus, bro. I'm not sus. Oh, wait, you don't like Among Us? Are you kidding me? Wait, you don't think it's funny? You, you don't think it's, it's it's really, really funny? You don't you don't like the game? Bro. Bro, bro, I swear, I swear, I swear. Drop clothes, ain't tripping on the Bible, just don't touch my coding bottles. P.O. gave me a little cup and told me, bruh, in it. bruh. Said the whip look familiar, cause it's bruh. In it. Everywhere I go, I see it. I look at my thumb. I look at a door, and I see it. I see the little, the little things. Just make it stop. I can't live like this anymore. I, I can't. I can't. 
I can't live like this anymore. Stop. I just don't want to see the Among Us characters anymore. Just, can I please live a normal life? Oh, my God. Oh.